Jurassic. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In the last video we covered the scrotum and why the testicles are outside the body as well as the spermatic cord. Now let's look at the actual testi testis or testes themselves. So these are the male gonads. Remember, gonads produce sex cells and sex hormones. So the testes, there are two primary jobs are to produce the, the male, gonad, uh, male gamete, sorry, which is the sperm or spermatozoa, and the androgens, the male sex hormones, primarily testosterone. So here we see just a couple of the, the layers on the outside. You have the tunica vaginalis that holds the testicles inside the scrotum there, and then you have the tunica I, al albuginia, I've always had a hard time saying that word. That's going to be the actual outer covering of the individual testis, but also it's going to it's going to form these septa that create the 300 to 400 lobules that are inside of a testicle. But the most important part of the testicles is going to be what you see on the inside there. Inside these lobules, you're going to have the seminiferous tubules. So there's these are very tightly coiled. Each one is like 32 inches long, but there's so many of them that we have. Um, there's about 800 of them. So that means we have about half a mile of seminiferous tubule in each testis. So a man with two testicles would have would have a full mile of these seminiferous tubules. Their job, so seminiferous tubules that are inside the testicles, th this is where sperm is produced. This is, so sperm matures as it travels through the rest of the path, the male reproductive tract, but sperm is produced in the seminiferous tubules. Very important thing to remember. From the seminiferous tubules, once the sperm, this immature sperm is produced, it's going to be moved through the rest of the male reproductive tract. It will go, as you can see here, from the seminiferous tubules to the straight tubules to what is known as the reet testis or reet testes. Then there's going to be about 15 to 20 of these um, efferent ductules, and then we're going to be at the epididymis. So that's going to be that's that's once inside the testicles. That's the seminiferous tubules. Key thing to remember there is the production of sperm occurs here. Now the testicle will cover these later, but the testicles also have the interstitial cells or interstitial cells of Leydig that produce the male androgen testosterone as well. We'll come back. Back to the hormone component later. We're gonna, I'm going to go through each part of the male reproductive tract here first. All right, so in the next video, we'll, we'll jump in and we'll cover the epididymis. We'll cover sperm production in a later video. Okay, I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.